All right, so this tutorial is designed to help you um, place a building into OpenStreetMap. Um, so basic feature editing is all we're going to be doing, pretty uh, basic stuff, but still good to go over. So um, in this case, we've already got our environment and workstation already set up, and uh, if you have any questions about that, there is another tutorial out there about um, setting up your remote work environment in Jossum. Um, so since we've already gone over that, though, we're going to go ahead and just use our shortcut here to open up Jossum. And once Jossum's loaded, from the window, we le uh, left-click the drop-down arrow and say Edit with Remote Control. Um, and we've already selected a small region of interest. You don't want to pick an area too large so that um, Jossum has a hard time. Actually, it won't open up in Jossum if the area is too big. And sometimes um, you have issues and it doesn't open up at all. So in this case, you can actually just go into Jossum and download the map data. Um, and you want to, again, select a region of interest that's not going to be too large so that it can't handle it. Um, so we're going to go right here across the street from the last building I entered and download this data. It takes a second to load, and you can see up here I just added a building, um, and we're going to add an associated dorm across from it. So what you want to do is load your imagery, actually, so that you can see uh, what it is that you're adding. Um, and you'll use the keystroke A to change your tool to add, and you just basically start by um, creating an outline of the building. And you want to be fairly accurate, but as you're taking on a big challenge of adding in a whole campus or something, you also want to be fairly quick. Uh, if you make a little mistake, it's all right. There is a way to edit it, and we'll go over that in just a second. So I'm here, here, here. Oops. Zoom back in. Oh, definitely going to have to edit that later because I just got distracted for a second. <laughs> okay. Oops, and I lost it, but that's all right. I can actually come back down here and pick it back up. Nope, I cannot escape. I'm going to have to use the S to select that dangle node that I don't want and use the delete key to delete it. Go back to A for add and then click on that node and it should just let you pick right up where you left off and double click to close. Alright, so once your building is all drawn in um, you can zoom in and actually uh, one thing to be aware of if you zoom in you will get a shift because uh, the imagery does have um, different scales and resolution in it. Um, so we want to stay at the same zoom level and we're going to hit the S key again to select the feature. And this time we're going to just, oops, not move it, undo move. We want to just select this node and move the node so that it's a little bit. Um, another feature that you can use is um, once you have your uh, shape selected, you can hit the Q button and that will orthogonalize all your angles. Um, so sometimes that works in your advantage, but obviously not what we want to do for this building. So I'm just going to do Control Z to undo that. Um, and, you know, my angles aren't perfect, but um, the building looks pretty good and it's outlined. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this feature. So while I have it selected, I come over to my attributes or properties memberships uh, category here and I'm going to say add. And so the first thing you want to do is identify it as a building, which auto-completes. And um, this building is a university. So I'm going to go ahead and tab and accept that and hit enter. And if you're unsure about what your building type is, you can actually go to the documentation tab um, from your OpenStreetMap window, and that'll bring up the data dictionary. So here you can see there's all sorts of different categories for buildings, um, and if your category is not located in here, which um, university is in here, so that's why we use that. It's right there. But if your building's not in there, then you just go ahead and say yes for your building type. Um, and then the next thing we want to add as a feature is operator. Um, which is basically like who operates the building. So in this case, it's Western Michigan University. And go ahead and say OK to that. Um, and of course, there is a tab in the data dictionary that covers operator as well. So if you want more details on um, you know, what constitutes an operator or how you should uh, describe your operator, it's all into the data dictionary. 
And the last feature we're going to add is the name. So name autocompletes, and this time, um, obviously, you have to manually enter what it is, and I know that this is Burnham Hall. And I'm going to say OK to that as well. So once you've completed your feature, um, I guess one other thing I'd like to note was that when you double clicked it, um, it did not actually fill like a polygon until we gave it the attribute of a building. So um, that's a little bit of an interesting way that the um, GIS is built in this environment. Um, so the last thing you want to do is upload your data to make sure that it gets saved to the overall uh, database of OpenStreetMap. So we say upload data. And um, they really like if you have a description here of what you did, what changes you made. And so I'm going to change the last building uh, was Draper Siege Slag, and now I'm adding the Burnham Dorm. And um, so it's got all my nodes listed and everything. And then just go ahead and say Upload Changes. And of course, it's going to want to know if you aren't already logged in who you are. And so I'm just going to go ahead and tell it who I am. And authenticate, and it says, yep, I recognize your user account, so go ahead and upload the changes. So um, next time you log into OpenStreetMap, your building that you added will be there. Very exciting. So um, look for other tutorials on adding features to OpenStreetMaps on this channel, and uh, hope you found it helpful.